a soda open B mod main event coming to green. Ryan Olsen going to lead us off in turns one and two. Jake Smith in the 21 will lead us off at a turn one and two. We got her. We're good. We're rolling. Oh, two is your race leader, though. Hunter Kennedy going to steal it away here. Down the back straight away. Hunter Kennedy, remember a late race high side pass for the heat race win earlier tonight. Put him in great spot for the main event outside of the front row. It'll be Smith, though, taking a look down to the bottom. Lap number two goes to Kennedy as well in 02. Good looking run here. Battle on the speedway right now for the number four spot, the 54 of Jen Sorensen and Dan Hubden. Trying to sort out that spot. It gets a little muddier behind those cars, but your top three starting to bust out and lead the way here. Three laps scored away, 27 laps to go. Hunter Kennedy having a great run out front. Jake Smith trying to hold off Eric Cans. Now Cans around the bottom of the racetrack, trying to get to that second spot potentially. Third spot is Cans. Fourth spot right now is Dan Hubden and Jet Sorensen rounding out the top five here. Sorensen taking a look to the inside of the 16 of Hubden now for fourth. Couple of distinct lines around this speedway as we work towards the five lap mark. This time by, it'll be five down, 25 to go. Your race leader, Hunter Kennedy, out front, picking him up and putting him down. Jake Smith, Eric Kans, Dan Hubbard, Jet Sorensen. That is your top five here in the early go. 0-2 oh, of Hunter Kennedy stretching it lap after lap here. Jake Smith again, still a solid second. Good battles outside of the top five, though. We got a really good one about a four-car battle for seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth right now. Joey Jensen taking a look to the outside of the 14 of Kate Nicious here. That is for seventh. Yeah, further back in the field, a couple of guys going three wide all over the place. The race leaders are getting themselves strung out here. Won't be but a straightaway, and we'll be working into those lap traffic cars. This time it'll be eight laps squared away and 22 laps to go. Your race leader still Hunter Kennedy. Then it'll be Jake Smith, Eric Kans, Dan Hubbard, Jet Sorensen. Nothing changing up front. Your top five as we start to pace the top side of the speedway and click them off lap by lap. Hunter Kennedy's 0-2 car. He's got two wins so far this year. One, as Dan mentioned, right here at MTS uh, earlier in May. Once He won once at Deer Creek in May as well. So a couple wins for the Iowa racer thus far. Looking awfully good right now. This will be a big one. I know he's got some wins under his belt, but you can win in front of this crowd with a $1,500 payday on the line, and he's walking away from them right now at 0-2. Really good battle going on right now for spots uh, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13. There are four wide down the back straightaway. You see it on screen right there now. It starts to separate itself out just a little bit. That was a real doozy of a battle there for about a lap and a half. Race leader Hunter Kennedy is going to uh, encounter the back of the field here in another lap or two. Remember, this is a 30 lapper, so we're not yet to the halfway point. We're creeping up on it, but we'll score lap 12, and Kennedy's going to have to deal with the back markers here in another lap or so as he races up towards them into turn one. Once again, still nothing changing inside of your top five cars. We string them along here. Good battles further back, but nothing doing up front. Not missing anything there. See on your screen, the 95 of Kent Baxter. That's for the 14th. Oh, maybe one looped around, headed the wrong direction. Down to the bottom of turns, one and two. Caution for the first time. Yeah, a little bit of contact there. The 15 of uh, Chris Edmonds is up against the wall, and I can't tell who's on the bottom of turn number two, but a little bit of contact there. Just the leaders were uh, approaching and rolling by. So I don't think any major damage, no harm, no foul. That is Shadow Kitchener's 68 car is the other driver involved. Down, ready to come back to green. The 0-2 will be allowed to fire first. He will, Hunter Kennedy, back on the gas with 18 to go. Jake Smith looking to take the long way around, wind one up here down the back straight away. Keep your eyes on the 16 of Dan Hubden as we work to the inside slide job for the lead. Here comes Hunter Kennedy right back at you at the stripe. Who's it going to be? Jake Smith did exactly what he needed to do. He drove it in as deep as he could. Pulled the slider. Hunter Kennedy, a masterful crossover move to retake the lead. Jake Smith's going to do it again. 
Uh, he thought about firing one. Hunter Kennedy did a good job. That was smart to enter a little bit lower to protect the top spot. Kennedy continues to lead in 02. Top two cars horsing around. Dan Hudson has reeled them in as we work them up off the turn number two down the back straight away. Hunter Kennedy now turns the wick up a bit into three and four. They go up into the top side. Lone Ranger working up on that as we'll come halfway home this time, 15 and 15. Halfway through, top three have broken away just a bit. The uh, 16 of Dan Hubden, a little bit higher entry than Jake Smith did into turn number one that time by. We'll see if Hubden able to, I th thought maybe he was going to try a uh, diamond crossover move. He's maybe setting him up to try to do so as Hunter Kennedy's driving away again in 02. Hunter Kennedy class the field here as Jake Smith got a little bit of concrete there with the right rear. Squared him up. Now Hubden going to take a gander to the outside once again, trying to roll up there, turn it right in the center. Back underneath they go. Drag race down the front straightaway. Can't draw close enough to make anything happen. 17 laps scored and 13 remain. Top three battle is going to be a top four battle here in a moment as here comes Nicious. Caden Nicious in that 14 car. Trying to make it a four car race for the lead and for the win. Hunter Kennedy still by about two car lengths over Jake Smith. Dan Hubden, Nicious in fifth right now. Still Eric Cans at 23. Last pass around the third mile. Jake Smith was a tenth quicker than your race leader, Hunter Kennedy. Dan Hubden was right on pace with the top spot, but Smith the quickest out of that bunch there. Not by a whole lot, but enough to start making a little bit of a dent in it as the gap comes to a .451 second lead for Hunter Kennedy. 20 scored, 10 to go as we cross the stripe this time by. Continues to be Hunter Kennedy all alone up front. Jake Smith, Dan Hub did a good battle. That battle for fifth is heating up. Here comes Cap, here comes Scalgy, here comes Flying Ryan Olsen. All these cats trying to roll up into the top five here with less than 10 to go. Good battle you see on screen there for the number two spot. Your race leader, Hunter Kennedy, not going to be bothered. 20 down, 21 down, nine laps to go now as we are working the absolute top. Down in turns one and two. Down in three and four, slightly different story, kind of right through the center of the speedway for the most part. And hubbed it higher yet. We're clicking off laps, working into single digit remainder. And this battle right here for fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth is outstanding. They were three wide a moment ago. Taylor Scalgi just snuck by Harley Dyes and Eric Cans into sixth. Working down the front straight away. They're still trying to roll three wide outside of the top five. Kath right now, the next driver in danger of being overhauled by Taylor Scalgi as that battle for second, tightening up once again with just more than five to go. Two, three, four right there on your screen, centered up in frame. Jake Smith, Dan Hubden, Keaton Nicious rolling along. Lock step through turns one and two. Hubden right to the left rear quarter panel. Your race leader out front alone. Now you're not missing anything there. Hubden going to sneak a peek to the inside. Right. Jake Smith trying to roll right along, keep the car good and squared up, throttled. It'll be five to go this time by. 25 in, five to go. Hunter Kennedy has been in full control. He had to survive a restart slider from Jake Smith, but otherwise, He's been out there by a second or more the majority of this race. Less than five to go. All eyes on the battle for second as it is still hot and heavy here off turn number four. Still rocking along for that spot two, three, four. We look further back into the field. The 87 of Harley Dice, 32 of Taylor Scoggy. Hard working. 27 laps scored complete. Lap traffic about to be right in front of your race leader. Oh, almost two seconds. It's uh, second and two thirds officially. The gap back to the number two spot. We've got a car spun here on the bottom of turn four. I'm not sure if he's on the racetrack enough to cause a caution. And Joey Jensen going to roll to a halt as well. That will cause a caution. Man, I was watching the leaders go through. Chris Edmonds. Spun the 15 right onto the road, onto the infield, but then Joey Jensen rolled to a halt in the 30 car. So thought me, we, maybe, we're going to be able to stay green. Jensen might have a flat left front. No, he does not. Thought maybe the left front was down, but it does not appear to be. So both the 15 and the 30 are going to exit. We will re-rack your field here. We did get 28. Yes, we did. Lap 28 scored. So it'll be green, then white, then checkered here. Well, if you're Hunter Kennedy, you did not want to see that because now 
Jake Smith is going to be set up for another monster slider, potentially, as he did on the last restart. And with only two laps to go, you never know what can happen here if Jake or somebody else ends up clearing a slider and then blocking the progression of the 0-2. We may have a different outcome here with two to go. Hunter Kennedy will choose inside on the upcoming double file restart. It'll be Kennedy and Smith on row one. It'll be Hubden and Nicious on row two. It'll be Kath and Skowgy now in row three. Harley Dyes and Ryan Olsen in row four. Then it'll be Eric Cans and Brandon Hare. That's your top 10 runners here. 28 scored, green then white then checkered. Just about to wrap this one up. Two more trips around for the B-Mods. 1,500 bucks on the line, guys. Showed up in force, 51 strong. Green flag back in the air. Green, white, checkered coming up. Hunter Kennedy with a good start once again. Down into turns one and two. Jake Smith, bobble, bobble, bobble. He'll give up two. And Hunter Kennedy going to slip away. But here comes Smith back at us once again. Down into three and four. White flag going to fly this time one more time for hunter kennedy hunter kennedy survived a couple mid-race and late race restarts looks like it's gonna be the iowa driver down the back straight away they're three wide for that second spot working through three and four but off turn number four race long leader is your winner hunter kennedy wins it in 0-2 unofficially caden calf gonna come home with the number five